Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we learned how to assign unique permissions on the files and folders level in a document library. In this particular video, we are going to learn how to assign unique permissions on a SharePoint list and on the items within the list. You can come across a scenario where you want to assign unique permissions on a SharePoint list or on the items of that list. For example, in this site, I have a list and this list is using the same level of permissions. Those are assigned on the site level. For example, if I click members, We can see one user is the owner concepts user who is currently logged in in this browser. And then we have Bob Ross who has edit permission on this site. And we have Peter Smith also who is site member and he has edit permission on this site. And if I go to settings. Site permissions. And expand site visitors, we can see team one user also has read permission on the complete site. Let's close this window and let's go to list settings. And click permissions for this list. And here it says this list inherits permissions from its parent O365, which is the name of this SharePoint site. And we can see same three site groups, site members, site owners and site visitors. Now, if I add a user on the site level, for example, let me open home page on a different tab and go to settings site permissions. And let's add one user. In this site, let's say team two and let's give him read permission. Click add. So we have team two user added in the site visitors. Now, if I go back to the list permissions, refresh the page, go to site visitors. And we can see team to user is added within site visitors group on the list permissions because by default, this list is using the permissions. Those are defined on the site level because this list is inheriting the permissions from the site. But let's assume. This particular list has confidential information and my requirement is I do not want anyone except the owners of this site to view this list and the items within this list. On the other browser, I have a user logged in Bob Ross and as of now he has access to the site and he can see contact list also. And he can see the items as well. He can modify the list as well because he has added permission on the site level. So as I said, I do not want anyone apart from the owners of this site to view this list and the items within this list. So what we need to do, we need to break the permission inheritance between the site and this list. So let me show you from the beginning. Let's go back. So this is the user who is a global administrator. And we will go to settings, list settings, and permissions for this list. And at the top, you will see an option stop inheriting permissions. If you hover your mouse, it says copy permissions from parent and then stop inheriting permissions. So let's click stop inheriting permissions and click OK. And now it says this list has unique permissions. So I do not want the members of this site to have access to the list. So I will select site members group and I'll click remove user permissions and click OK. And I'll do the same thing for the site visitors. Remove user permissions. OK. So now we have only the site owners group and the users who are part of site owners group only these users have permissions on this particular list. And let's go back to the other browser. So as of now, Bob Ross can see the list. He can see the list items as well. 
but let's refresh the page. So now Bob Ross doesn't see contact list. So this is how you can assign unique permissions on a SharePoint list. Now let me show you how we can assign permissions on the items level. Let's go back to list permissions and let me add a user. So we will add Bob Ross and I'll give him edit permission. Click share, refresh the page. So now Bob Ross has added permission on this list and site owners have full control over this list. And let's go back to the other browser. Let's refresh. So now Bob Ross can see the contact list and he can see the items as well because he has added permission and he can even edit this list. Now my requirement is, for example, in this list, we have a confidential user or let's say CEO of the company. Now I do not want anyone apart from the site owners to view this particular contact. Only the site owners should be able to see this particular list item. So to achieve this, we will go back and open contact list and click on this three dots or you can right click on the list item and click manage access manage access and you see bob ross here under people if you go to groups you can see only site owners but under people we can see bob ross so either you can remove bob ross from here you can click on the account expand direct access click can add it and click remove direct access this will remove Bob Ross from this permission and this will break the permission inheritance between the site list and this particular list item. Or you can go back, click three dots, advanced settings. So these are the advanced settings for the list item. And here it says this list item inherits permissions from its parent and the name is contact list. That means this particular item is inheriting the permissions from the site list. So we need to break this permission inheritance between the site list and this particular item. So we will click stop inheriting permissions and click OK. So it says this list item has unique permissions and we have got two options edit user permissions and remove user permissions. So I'll select Bob Ross and I'll click remove user permissions and click OK. So now only site owners have access to this particular list item. Let's go back to Bob Ross. Let's refresh. And let's go back to list. So now Bob Ross do not see CEO contact details. Now there is one more scenario that I want to discuss with you. So by default, any user who has a required permission on a list, he can modify the list items. But let's say I do not want anyone except the owners of this list to modify the list items. The other users can view the list. They can view the items within the list, but they cannot modify any item within a list or they can only modify the items. Those are created by the same users. Let me show you this practically and things will be more clear. Let's go back to item permissions and click delete unique permissions. So now we have the same permissions. Those are defined on the list level. So let's go to site list and go to settings list settings permissions for this list and click delete unique permissions click ok so now everyone has access to the list and the items within the list if i go back here settings or if i click here manage access advanced settings we can see three site groups so now all the users, site members, site visitors, and site owners have access to the site list as well as they have access on the list items. And let's go back to the 
other browser where Bob Ross is logged in and let me add one item so let's add like test so Bob Ross has added this particular item within this list let's go back where a global administrator is logged in so within the site list we will go to settings list settings and here we click advanced settings and under item level permissions you will see two permissions read access and create and edit access so under read access by default it will be set to read all items that means all the users who are part of the site owners group site members group or the site visitors group they can read all the items within this particular list but if i select read items that were created by the user the users will not be able to see all the items of this list they will be able to see only those items those are created by them let's select this option and click okay and let's go back to the other browser so bob ross has added this particular list item other list items are created by the site owner so let's refresh the page and let's see what happens so now bob ross can see only the list item that is created by him all the other list items those are not created by bob ross he can't see those list items let's go back to the list settings and click advanced settings and click read all items and click ok let's go back to bob ross refresh now he can see all the list items and let's go back again to advanced settings now under create and edit access you have three options create and edit all items create items and edit items that were created by the user or none by default this is set to create and edit all items that means by default if a user has required permission he can modify the list items and then we have create items and edit items that were created by the user so if i select this option bob ross will not be able to create a new item within the list or he will not be able to edit the items within the list he can only modify the items those are created by him so let's click this option and click ok let's go back to bob ross refresh and let's try to modify an item that is not created by bob ross let's try this one and click edit let's add something click save so it says sorry you do not have access now if i try to modify the item that is created by bob ross let's add this one so bob ross can modify this list item because this particular list item was added by bob ross if he will try to modify this one he will not be able to it says sorry you do not have access now there is one more permission let's go back and go to advanced settings now there is one more permission that is none this permission means if i select none under create and edit access no one will be able to modify any item within this particular list only the owners of this site or a global administrator or a SharePoint administrator can modify the list items. So this is how you apply unique permissions on the items level in a SharePoint list. So that is all for today. If you learned something new from this particular video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And if you have questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.